Hello everyone, welcome to Crafty Kitties. My name is Miss Carmen from the Fugaril Public Library. Today we will make a paperback puppet using a paper bag and other materials that hopefully are available at your house. Let's go over the materials to make our puppet. You'll need scissors. I have two hole punchers here because I uh, actually punched the eyes for mine, but you can just trace two circles from whatever you have at home, whatever round objects you have at home and cut them out. Glue and a sharpie. So you need red construction paper, white construction paper, and black construction paper. I actually cut a strip of, of black construction paper and I also cut um, the small circles out of black paper too before I started so I was uh, faster on the video. Oh, this is something, there is a trick about making a paperback puppet that I want to share with you. And it is that our kids' hands are a lot smaller than ours, and we know that. So when they put their hand in, in the bag, it doesn't work as well. You know, it opens all of it, and it's kind of hard to manage the puppet. But if you staple right under it, just on the very edge, if you staple it, it will make the puppet a lot easier for them to use. Of course, their hand is much more easy. It's a lot smaller than mine. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can make any kind of puppet you want. This is just a silly face one. And I am going to use two white circles and two black circles for the eyes and a red one for the nose. If you want the nose on top, you can do it like that. Or if you want it at the bottom, I suggest that you glue the nose first, which is what I am going to do. Parents, you will have to prepare ahead a lot of the stuff that the kids are using to make the puppets. They don't have a lot of work with these puppets, but I will, in a minute I will tell you why that's okay, because the puppet actually becomes a tool for practicing other skills. So, I'm almost done with my eyes. Oops. And I'm going to finish the face with a smiley mouth. For the hair, that's what I need. Believe it or not, this is, I, I'm looking at it orange on the screen, but it's actually red. You can use any color you want for any of this. Um, so I will cut the strip to the length of the paper bag and put it right there. Kind of overlap a, a little and also you can do this before. It's I just wanted to show you guys how to do it, but you can do it before and just have your little little one um, glue it. Or they can do this part too, depending on their level of skills. So, I'm going to give this guy spiky hair. The other one, the sample I made, has curly hair. Kind of. 
You can really tell that's what it is, but if you fold it a little, then you see. How spiky he carried. And that's it. I hope you use the same technique we used today to make other kinds of puppets. You can make animal puppets, you can make monsters, you can make just a weird creature. Um, kids may not have a lot of participation in terms of cutting and all that, but you can take advantage of the fact that you can use these puppets to work with their oral skills and also their social skills. Thanks everybody for watching my video. See you next time.